terms of the results, can do you have any numbers that you can talk about that where the employability uh, goes up because of uh, such a, a resume format? Definitely. See, most of the uh, uh, this gossips or thought process, what happens is uh, we have to prepare our resume for the ATS related stuff, right? So that's how people talk. See, ATS is something uh, applicable when you apply for a job posting, right? So because ATS is integrated in a lot of many corporates and consulting True. firms, all that. So my resume may not work in that way because uh, I uh, work on for the unpublished jobs. So unpublished jobs in the sense recruiters proactively do searches for their requirement rather than being reactive to job postings because of the time consumption it takes. Oh, right? interesting. So if you post a job today, overnight you will get 2000 uh, profiles, relevant profiles, irrelevant profiles, all that you get overnight. You know, uh, that's the level of uh, uh, I mean, number of hit ratio it happens through job posting. Hmm. But a recruiter standpoint is something I can uh, I will be reactive in job posting where I have to screen every other resume hmm. and try to fix the particular profile for my position, right? Which where, where which it is results in delay in process. Second things I may not get a right fit, hundred percent right fit for my uh, profile. All that happens and it's a very time consuming process. So that's a reactive process. For for this, I don't prepare a resume. Okay. I prepare a resume for proactive recruiters where they source profiles from Nokri, LinkedIn, Monster, all that. Okay. Okay. Where they use search strings, key skills to source profiles. Mm -hmm. And they use the CTC uh, budget for uh, aspects. How is the availability of notice period? Mm -hmm. All that is a factor for considering a profile. Right. So there you have to give your resume in a very, uh, I mean, three things you have to give in a resume. One is factual information. Uh, you quantify whatever you have done in the past. I call it three different ways to represent this. Uh, time, cost, and effort. Whether you have saved time, whether you have uh, saved your efforts, where you have uh, saved the cost, all that you have to quantify it and then project it in the summary so that they understand, okay, this guy speaks factual information. Mm. Right. Very interesting. So, uh, so to reiterate, it is it is about that whatever you are talking about, talk about results and in an objective manner, not that I have been doing X, Y, Z, right? Yeah, please yeah. carry on. Huh. So, uh, second thing is uh, don't give more information also because it will be overwhelming. And uh, usually, these IT profiles will give more information because of the number of projects uh, they have done. So 15 projects, 16 projects, <laughs> See, recruiters, we don't even read and we don't even understand what is the project we have done in the past, right? So that way, overwhelming content will not be also helpful. At the same time, don't uh, restrict to one page, two page or all that. That is also extreme. Like, I don't even get enough information to shortlist you, right? So that also needs to be stopped. So give in enough information where I see there is a potential to match and it should trigger me to call you for an interview. That should